Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope presented us with yet another startling discovery that took the book out of books. This time he managed to capture intriguing images of possible first black stars. But after all, what are these black stars and why is this discovery so relevant? Stars, as we know, emit light and shine in space through the process of nuclear fusion, in which atoms combine and release energy. However, there is an exciting theory that suggests an alternative way to power a star. This fascinating finding came from a collaboration between three astrophysicists at the Universities of Texas at Austin and Colgate. They stuck to images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope and identified three luminous objects that could be potential dark stars. Dark stars are theoretical entities, larger and brighter than our sun, that obtained their energy through dark matter particle annihilation. If this discovery is confirmed, these black stars could help unravel the mysteries surrounding dark matter, a profound enigma in the field of physics. The discovery of a new type of star is already fascinating in itself, but the fact that it is powered by dark matter adds a significant layer of mystery. Catherine Fries, a renowned physicist and director of the Weinberg Institute for Theoretical Physics, emphasized the immense souls of this revelation. She noted that finding out that dark matter is powering these stars would be of enormous importance, as dark matter makes up about 25% of the universe and remains a mystery to scientists. It is believed to be fixed by a new form of elementary particle, which has prompted an intense search to detect these elusive particles. One of the main candidates is the massive weakly interacting particles known as WIMPs. When these particles collide, they annihilate each other, generating heat that fuels the collapse of hydrogen clouds, lighting them into bright black stars. If we can identify them as black stars unambiguously, they have the potential to provide valuable insights into the nature of dark matter, based on their observed characteristics. Exploring dark stars not only promises to reveal a new celestial phenomenon, it also offers a unique opportunity to understand the mysterious properties of dark matter. As scientists continue their quest to understand the fundamental workings of the universe, the remarkable discovery of dark stars could light the way to unlocking the mysteries that lurk in the enigmatic realm of dark matter. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to challenge our understanding of the cosmos. The first data released from the Sears survey show a region known as the Extended Growth Strip, taking us on a cosmic journey to an epoch just after the Big Bang. In this video, we can admire more than 5,000 galaxies in dazzling colors and in three dimensions. The cosmic journey begins with relatively nearby galaxies located just a few billion light-years from Earth and concludes with the Macy Galaxy, which is 13.4 billion light-years from Earth and is one of the most distant galaxies ever observed by Earth. Humanity, seen as it was approximately 390 million years after the Big Bang. So this new video from the Webb Telescope not only takes us on a journey through space, but also on a journey back in time, going back in cosmic evolution to a period when the universe, at 13.8 billion years old, was only about a third of her current age. The video was the result of data collected by the Sears survey, which explores a region of space called the Extended Growth Strip, located between the constellations Ursa Major and Corvus, and contains about 100,000 galaxies. A notable aspect of this visualization is the Macy's Galaxy. This galaxy is an example of an ancient type of galaxy that the JWST is able to study. Using the telescope, astronomers spotted a sequence of ancient galaxies stretching more than 3 million light-years across, connected by a cosmic filament that dates back to the earliest days of the universe. This ancient filament, composed of gas and stars, may be the oldest known structure in the cosmic web. This discovery could bring new insights into the formation of the universe as well as the invisible connections that hold it together. The filament is anchored by an extremely bright celestial object that contains a supermassive black hole known as a quasar at its center. Over the last 20 years, research has revealed that the universe is built like a kind of cosmic skeleton, composed of a series of filaments and clusters that are invisible to the naked eye. In these clusters, dark matter and ordinary matter become very dense, creating perfect conditions for the birth of stars and galaxies. Between these clusters and filaments, there are low-density regions in the universe where fewer galaxies and less matter are present. Although the filament itself is invisible, it is possible to observe how it attracts galaxies. Meanwhile, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have detected the most distant supermassive black hole ever observed to be actively feeding. This black hole is also one of the least massive ever seen in the early universe, with a mass equivalent to around 9 million suns, which has proven challenging to explain. The researchers observed the galaxy that hosts this active supermassive black hole as part of the initial cosmic evolution survey. 
designated Sears 1019, the galaxy is seen as it was when the universe, which is 13.8 billion years old, was only about 570 million years old. That's because the processes by which supermassive black holes grow, whether through mergers between successively larger black holes or greedily gobbling up surrounding matter, should take longer than the 570 million years this black hole has had to grow. This means that even black holes the size of the one at the center of the Milky Way, about 4.5 million times the mass of the Sun, would only be seen in a relatively close and therefore more recent universe. The black hole at the center of Sears 1019 is about 9 million solar masses. That might sound tremendously massive, but many supermassive black holes can grow to be billions of times the mass of our star. Still, even with this relatively small size, the existence of black holes with such masses in the early universe is still a mystery to scientists. Observing this distant object with this telescope is a lot like observing data from black holes that exist in galaxies close to our own, study co-author Rebecca Larson said in a statement. Scientists have long suspected that such supermassive black holes existed in the early universe, but it's only since the JWST opened its infrared eye to the cosmos in mid-2022 that definitive evidence has emerged. The light emissions reveal that the black hole Sears 1019 is actively feeding on matter around it. Feeder black holes like this one are surrounded by infalling swirls of gas and dust known as accretion disks. In addition, the black hole's gravitational influence heats this matter, causing the disk to glow brightly, and powerful magnetic fields funnel the matter to the black hole's poles, where it is occasionally ejected in twin jets moving at nearly the speed of light. Light, generating intensely bright light. Looking in greater detail at the black hole's intense radiation could reveal how fast its host galaxy is growing and possibly provide insights into its mysterious past. It is believed that merging galaxies may be partially responsible for fueling activity in that galaxy's black hole, which may also lead to an increase in star formation. Be that as it may, scientists are analyzing the data accurately. The information revealed by Webb has drastically changed our perspective on the beginning of the universe. The fact that there are galaxies forming only about 390 million years after the Big Bang is in itself a challenge to our model of cosmology. Of course, we can adjust the model based on discoveries made by the telescope, but there is still much more to be discovered through the vast amount of information collected by Webb since the beginning of the universe. Scientists have also suggested that although the Macy Galaxy is the youngest known galaxy to date, more observations point to the existence of even younger galaxies and black holes that adorn the early universe. Therefore, going back to where you started will not only be necessary, but absolutely essential. Whatever the universe is hiding from us, it's only a matter of time before we have the answers or, better yet, know where we can find them. As mentioned earlier, it's a win for science and a win for humanity. And you, what do you have to say? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to CZ Science E, because together we will explore the unknown.